afternoon YouTube well I got a little bit done I got a new um, drill press this is a Kennedy Auto uh, I think you call them a Camelback it's a floor model upright and uh, I got this a couple weeks ago I like it I, I been wanting to get one and I've seen four or five but they're all like eight nine feet tall you know the power feeds back gears really nice but they usually go in uh, 1200 to 1500 pound range and this one I'm I know it weighs at least 300 probably more but uh, it's small enough that I can get it on my trailer. I got my jack shaft set up here. Um, just a minute, I'm gonna put it down in a lower gear. one has a I don't have my belts real tight I'm running loose belt loose belts will uh, have your bearings last longer all right there you go this one I had to twist the belt Because the line shaft over here is running uh, actually backwards to make the drill press run forward in a cutting mode. And uh, so this is the first uh, uh, cross belt I put in. And hey, it's working. I've been making uh, hubs. I made a hub for, for this little. Uh, drive pulley down here on the, on the drill press and that's just a little two-piece pressed steel which worked all right all, all the shifting mechanism for this drill press was gone it'd be nice if I had the, the foot shifter floor mechanism that bolts on here but they had taken everything off and put an electric motor on which I took off and uh, I put uh, this jack shaft up here. This one, uh, I, I believe the larger pulleys will transmit the horsepower a little bit better. Now, I don't think this drill press requires a lot of horsepower. In fact, I think the one they had on there might have been a one horse. Now, that shaft up there which, uh, if you remember, if you've uh, seen my earlier videos, was warped quite a bit. And uh, one of the viewers suggested I go to Keith Finner's website and he shows how to straighten out shafts. And uh, he uses a little uh, uh, spray, uh, sucks, use the vacuum with air, venturi to suck water out of a, uh, and blows it onto your little hot spots. But, um, I'll tell you what, if you want to do this, all you need is a bucket of water and a wet rag. And it does the same thing. That's what I did up here. And I'm going to say I probably got it within uh, 10 or 15 thousandths, which is close enough for uh, my application here. These uh, pulleys and belts, they're pretty forgiving. This belt here is a leather belt, very old. Uh, it's uh, uh, it works, but uh, it's I have it pretty loose. I really have all my belts pretty loose here, uh, and like I said, I I keep the belts loose because uh, uh, it's not a hard working shop. This machine shop isn't made to work hard. It's more of a show, 
more of an antique shop, and uh, I want things to run. And I, I believe my bearings will last longer. All these bearings I have, I haven't poured any Babbitt or anything. These are the, the way I got them, and I, and I think some of them are very, very old. And, and when you keep them lubed up and running smooth, they do. They last a long time. And, and if you don't put a lot of pressure uh, on the belts, on the pulleys, tight belt, uh, you don't get as much wear on your your uh, your bearings. This uh, everything over here is more or less the same. Really, I've been been focusing on. Both the motors. So that uh, if I did, I, I have the uh, uh, each side is run off of a separate motor. I can't tell it. I can hear some noise. The uh, drill press down there, the Kennedy Auto, I just got running today. I just put the last belt on. I've been, I've been working along at it. A little bit at a time. I'm sure if I showed this one, I got it figured out how I'm gonna run the old WP Davis here. It's gonna since since my uh, engine 11 main line shaft here was only that long. It's kind of short, and I got two more uh, hangers. Well, I'm gonna put another bar like that one there. It's gonna come all the way out to the end here, and and this I might. Uh, use that support for one hanger and put another one here then I would have the, the belts come over over here come back I'm going to put another set of hangers I got uh, uh, engine 316 the cone pulley for this lathe is bored out to an inch and 316 and if luck would have it, this uh, set of uh, hangers is inch and three sixteenths. So I have a couple more uh, pulleys down here. Now these two pulleys down here are, uh, they're kind of an oddball. It's not quite an inch and a quarter. So they're a little too big for inch and three sixteenths. So I think what I'll do is pour them out, get some uh, oil light. I like to get that oil light uh, bronze uh, oil impregnated uh, bushing and uh, put it in, in my little loose pulley. I think uh, I think that'll work. And then I'll just put uh, a bushing in the other one, make it a tight pulley. And that'll put this one on. These two over here are just a pair of cast iron pulleys that have the, the same OD and uh, the same ID. This is an inch and an eighth. Uh, shaft. This is a inch and an eighth uh, jack shaft. So basically, I just lube up this one. I lube this uh, fully. It, instead of having a, a set screw, I use a set screw hole as a uh, lube point. Put a little lube in there. 
and I, I run the cast iron to the uh, mild steel shaft. It's, it's a cold roll shaft. And uh, we'll uh, hope for the best. See if I keep it lubed up and see if it'll uh, uh, give me some use out of it. Uh, I figure push come to shove, if it wears that shaft, I, I can uh, run it for a while. That, that's one reason I'm, I'm running this uh, belt a little bit loose, so we don't get much uh, pressure on the, on the bearings and whatnot. But the push come to shove, I can, uh, if I get wear on my shaft, I can flip them, and if I get wear on the, the hub, I can always bore it out and uh, put a, a bronze or, or a oil light uh, uh, bushing in there, which, you know, I've, I've been uh, kind of researching this a little bit, and, and a lot of uh, your uh, bearings, if that's what you want to call them, are just uh, bored out cast iron, and they run the cast iron on there, and apparently if you keep them lubed up, they last pretty good. Well, that is about all we got done in this past month, which, which I'm happy, it's something. We got something done, we're moving forward. I uh, only got a couple more pieces of equipment to uh, install in here, get running. And uh, I can move on to, to uh, more little projects. Well, thanks a lot. If you have any uh, uh, comments, leave them down below. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.